hi guys um in this video let's see how we can compile or transpile um es6 that is javascript um 2015 the latest version of javascript into plain old javascript okay so first thing we need to do is install um, the required plugins we need to install two plugins one called gulp babel and the other one is a, a plugin for that gulp uh, plugin which is called um, Babel presets um, ES 2015. Okay, so I'm gonna do npm install dash dash save dev uh, gulp Babel and then um, Babel presets um, ES 2015. Okay, so I'm gonna press enter and let those install. So um, it says that Babel presets ES 2015 is not in the registry. So it seems that I made a mistake. You don't need the S here. So you do Babel preset ES 2015. So let's gonna go ahead and install um that plugin as well. Okay, so now that we have those installed, um, we just have to require the um, Babel plugin. So let's say Babel Babel equals to um, require. So let's say got Babel. And um, we do not need to require the um, presets ES 2015 uh, plugin because it's a plugin for Babel. So if you install that um, in NPM, um, this plugin will automatically know to require that for itself. Okay. So let's go ahead and see how we can use Babel. So we're done with the CSS tasks. And um, yeah, so now let's focus on the scripts task. Let's remove everything inside here. So what we need to do is we need to um, create a scripts folder first where we're going to put our um, JavaScript 2015 or ES6 files. So let's do scripts. And in there, let's create um, a file with some um, ES6 content. So let's do a new file and then our main dot um, let's call it we give it a um, extension of ES6 you don't have to give it ES6 you can give it any extension you want but um, this is just so we know what kind of file it is so if you know how to write ES6 um, basically it's JavaScript but with classes so let's say class uh, my math class and uh, basically all this class will have is just um, two functions called add and subtract and um, this is how you write them so um basically we just need to um, write the function here let's say num1 and then um, it accepts two argument num2 okay so let's do return num1 plus num2 okay let's add another function um which is subtract and then it's going to accept um, two arguments as well num1 num2 so return um, num1 minus num2 okay so this is not regular javascript this is javascript uh, the latest version it is kind of regular javascript but it's not yet um, supported that's why by um, all the browsers that's why you need something like Babel to compile it but we'll see the output um, file once we've compiled it okay so first let's configure the scripts task to say gob.source okay so src and what it's going to do is look in the scripts folder for slash star dot es6 so any file that ends with es6 we're going to um, compile that so what we need to do is call the pipe function on that and then we're going to use this babel um, plugin that we require so let's do babel and then um, we need to pass in a f uh, option here to say which presets we want to use okay so let's do preset and then um, we have to pass in an um, array as the value for that and um, our preset is ES2015 um, and you don't need the dash okay so next after we've compiled that we want to um, pipe it to the destination so let's do gulp.dest and then the destination will be scripts you just need to pass in the folder name okay so now let's um, compile our um, ES6 into JavaScript or ES5 call it so let's do gulp scripts press enter and it says we have an error um, it's complaining about the comma so it seems that we don't need a comma in uh, ES6 so I'm gonna remove that so go scripts as you can see now it has compiled main.es6 to main.js so let's see what we have and um, as you can see um, it has compiled that um, simple um, ES6 file uh, here syntax into um, ES5 which is a bit more complex um, but it is the same uh, JavaScript so this your browser can run okay so 
that is how um, you compile ES6 into um, ES5 and you can require this main.js file in your um, browser just like you would any normal um, JavaScript file and it will run just fine. So just to show you this in action, how you will use this is um, you're going to do var my math. So you're going to instantiate it equals to new my math. And then now you can do my math dot um, add and you can pass in one and then two and then um, for some that's where it's going to be stored so let's compile this and then see what the output will be so i'm going to do gulp scripts and let's have a look at um, main.js as you can see it's instantiating it and it's just doing my mass.add one and two so let's see this in action so i'm going to actually log this to the console um, some and then uh, i'm going to compile that um, well actually let's remove this because we don't want to modify the compiled javascript so we're going to come here and do a log and then um some okay so i'm going to compile it once more gulp scripts and then uh, let's have a look at the output so it is outputting to the console so let's do new node scripts and then main.js as you can see the sum is three okay so um that's it guys that's how you compile es6 to es5 and i hope this was helpful and if, if it was please comment um subscribe and share the videos and i thank you for watching i will see you soon cheers bye bye